from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Oh, welcome back to Jinx, where the music has still been playing, and it is a gorgeous night, as we said. I have Mayor Corey Box with me right now. And, uh, Mayor, I tell you, it's a great night to be out here, isn't it? And it's, you've got a lot of stuff going on. Yes, sir, Travis, and thank you for coming back to Jinx. Always good to see you. Yep. We're obviously in the Christmas spirit. We're still basking in the glow of our big speed defeat. So a lot of that <laughs> spirit still carrying on here. But this event this year has been even more successful than ever. We have over 40 vendors that have showed up. And if I can get you to come back next year, because I heard you say earlier, I thought I heard you say something about Sepulpa's really up the ante this year. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to up the ante next year. So you come back oh. next year, we're going to change this up a little bit. We have a fresh face running the Chamber of Commerce, and she's got some great new ideas. And this year, by well, tonight, our businesses are going to stay open until 9 o'clock, and we have a Christmas uh, decoration contest for all these downtown businesses as well. So they, we're kicking it up a little bit this year. We got the spirit growing here, but next year you come back. <laughs> okay. We hope to make this even more special for you. All right, sounds good. And then we've got the parade on uh, Saturday. Yeah, so right? the, uh, the Kiwanis Christmas Parade Saturday morning, and then uh, Saturday afternoon I think we have a small business Saturday as well. So yeah. lots of good stuff happening. And uh, if you haven't seen the construction zone down there yet at the uh, Tedford Insurance Building, there's some new construction going on there. That's the largest dollar amount construction project on Main Street in the last 50 years. So, so things are happening. Things huh? are happening. When you come back next year, we hope to have that done and give you some new places to eat as well. Right. Hey, yeah. Fair enough. I'm up for that. Hey, so you're on. Sir. We'll yeah. see you next year. Merry Christmas, brother. Thank you. you back at you. All right. So there you go. You heard it all. So now that we just have to talk about the weather, find out a little bit more about what you can expect where you are if you're not in Jinx. Anyway, take a look and see what's going on. Temperature-wise right now, we're doing okay across the area. And lights are on in the big downtown Main Street of Jinx America. 50 degrees and no wind. That's going to change before two off along. Speaking of which, uh, temperatures all across much of the area showing up generally 40s to low 50s. We've dropped down to 42 in Jinx now with the light winds. Uh, we're going to be very cold by morning. This cold air is coming in. You see Ponca City is at 38 and those blue little arrows up on the top of your TV screen. That's that cold front rolling on in. So the winds will pick up later tonight and as that happens there's also a chance of some rain. A little bit of raindrops mixed with some snow and snowflakes especially Tulsa Northeast. Yeah, that's how cold it's going to be tonight as this cold air rushes in. By morning we're in the 20s to low 30s. Fortunately most of the precipitation is out of the picture. And then by the time we get the afternoon it is still cold and some snow flurries and temperatures in the 30s, low to mid 30s. So if you do have plans of being out, be advised. Tomorrow night, cheering on to you, the Golden Hurricane. It'll be cold, temperatures in the 20s. And for our playoff games, around 30. And so you just have to bundle up. The winds will be lighter. Really cold Saturday morning. Temperatures will be in the lower 20s. We'll see some clearing skies. And we're also talking about with the parade here in Jinx. Skies will clear, but we're talking our team is going to be out. And look for some reasonable weather. The only thing that's not so great is the winds will be out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And by afternoon, we're in the 40s. So we're talking, it's going to be okay. And also, as we take a look on into the time period for a big bedlam, we're looking for temperatures that will be in the 30s for game time kickoff. We'll heat it up, though. So I think central Oklahoma down around Norman will be hot before it's all said and done. Don't forget Sunday morning as well, the Route 66 Marathon. A lot of streets are closed around downtown. It'll be a cold start, but it gets better during the afternoon. Lighter winds and afternoon highs around 50, so it should feel pretty good. You might be able to put up some Christmas lights if you want to without freezing your fingers. Also for travel, not bad on Wednesday. Most of the rain would be off to the east and snow to the north. And then on Thanksgiving, we're looking for, again, a slight chance of showers mainly east with better chance of snow to the north and northeast. And then for Black Friday, what happens? It cools off with gustier north winds, but still not too bad. So you can travel across many sections of the country without a whole lot of problem. Here's our forecast then, the way it shapes up. We're looking at 43 at 9 o'clock. We're already sitting at 42 in Jinx, as we said, but we're talking about the real cold air coming in overnight with the stronger north winds. Chance of some snowflakes around Tulsa or flurries as we look around noon. With temperatures remaining, it's not warming up at noon, if you know. And our extended forecast looks like this. Temperatures will be in the 40s on Saturday, near 50 on Sunday, and then we're much warmer for next week, just in time for Thanksgiving and even into Black Friday. And the following weekend, there might even be a temperature of about 70. But anyway, we want to say again, thanks to the Jinx Trojan Air Choir, it is fantastic that they're out here every year. Great music if you can hear it in the background, which I'm sure you can. Come on down, Jinx. You still have till 9 o'clock tonight, and just enjoy. All right, back to you.